Vertical asymptotes. In this video, I'm going to very quickly explain how they work and how they impact the graph of a rational function. So what is a vertical asymptote? Vertical asymptotes are vertical lines that indicate an off-limits value for a function, and these result from a restriction on x. So what does that mean, a restriction on x? The most famous example of a restriction on x is not being able to divide by 0. If you take your calculator and you type in 1 divided by 0, you're going to get a mass explosion. Well, not actually. You're going to get a message that says something like error 2, but that's just the safe way of your calculator telling you that it's exploding in your face. Let's consider the function f of x equals 1 over x minus 1. This function has a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. The reason for this is if I put 1 in for x, I get 0 in the denominator of my function. And we just discussed that we're not able to divide by 0. So this function is restricted when x is equal to 1. So let's look at how this would affect the function's graph. I already have the graph of this function displayed here, but what I'm going to do very quickly is show you how you can use a table of values to predict what happens to the function as it approaches the vertical asymptote. I'm going to start by looking at x equals 2, which is right here. When I sub in 2, I have 1 over 2 minus 1, also known as 1. So you can see that point very clearly on the graph right here. Now what I'm going to do with this table is I'm going to move my x values closer and closer to 1. So the next value I'm going to sub in is 1.5. You can see I'd have 1 over 1.5 minus 1, also known as 1 over 0 0.5. If you need a calculator to figure this out, that's okay, but you'll see that you get 2. So when I sub in 1.5, which is approximately here, I get the value of 2. So you can see I'm slowly revealing the location of these points as my x values get closer and closer to my asymptote. Because I already have the graph of this function here, you can see where this is going. But it's really nice to see this using the x values in a table of values. If I sub in 1.33, I get the y value of 3, which is right here. If I continue this, subbing in x values, getting closer and closer to 1, you're going to see my y values get bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where they're so far off my graph I can't even show you. So what does the function equal when I sub in 1? Well, we know we're not able to divide by 0, but what I can do is take approximations, get closer and closer and closer to 1, and see what happens to the function. As it turns out, I can do this as many times as I want, but I will never arrive at a value for y. Because of that, we say the function is restricted at x equals 1. I'm not able to sub in 1, but I can sub in numbers very close to 1. In fact, if I get very, very close to 1, 1. 1.000001, the resulting value is a million. So you can see that this is going to continue if I sub in numbers closer and closer to 1. Because of this, we say x is restricted at x equals 1, and there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. If this video helped you in any way, feel free to like and subscribe for more mathematical chaos, and get ready to check out a few more videos on vertical asymptotes and how they can be used to sketch rational functions. Thanks for watching.